Well, we're just getting ready to start the shower for Jenny Marie here at Nancy's house. Got lots of family and friends here gathered to honor Jenny. Bitsons and Blairs and Brenda. <laughs> And so we want each group to put their heads together and figure out how you can use those tools to build a strong marriage and family. Okay? So you're going to have to stretch a little bit. <laughs> like, give an example. should we give an example? Yeah, give, an example. give yourself okay. one. Okay, like, like if you get one with a saw in it, you could put cut out criticism, something like that. Okay. Oh. So it doesn't have to yeah. use the word saw, but something, but something that, that that tool does, does or relating to that tool. Does that make sense? I mean, is that like, this is like way corny, but you're on the court, so. we got so many people. But. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you you know. I'm Julie. I was one of Jenny's companions. And this is my friend, Allie. Couples. And things work out better when you're united. Stick 
together through the rough times, secure a close relationship by spending time together, let the gospel principles bind you together when the inevitable conflicts try to pull you apart. <laughs> Don't be clamped down by pride. Be humble and forgive. Remain steady until you understand his point of view. <laughs> Clamp your tongue before hurtful words are said. Tighten your commitment when things start to fall apart. <laughs> had a tape measure and I think it's called a square <laughs> with a level thing. <laughs> okay, so measure Dave by his positive attributes and not his negative. If you think you're married to a square, keep a level head. <laughs> if you keep your feet on the ground, you remain, you remain at a right angle and, you're point, and your head pointed towards heaven. Don't be nitpicky and measure in millimeters then your level grow by yards. Retract negative comments. Hold your time in less constructive criticism. Um, so I wrote a story. Oh, <laughs> my dad's really a cradle, and he just he's taken the wood to the plane every day. So um, we said we were okay. The craftsman skill, skillfully glues the wood pieces into something recognizable, like a cradle or a table or whatever. But the pieces don't fit together perfectly. The grains clash, the pieces are too long or short, and the joints are uneven. Some pieces of wood are rough and have imperfections. The planer is used to smooth the rough spots, even out the joints, and blends the differences between the grains to make a beautiful piece of furniture. It requires time, patience, and the tool. Y'all wow. <laughs> <laughs> deserve a big hand. <laughs> Carolyn gave us um, a shower, and she did something there that we really liked, and so we did this for Jenny. And um, what it is is she had, she asked us to tell the story of how we met our each of our and fiancés, and um, kind of tell about how we fell in love and that kind of stuff. And then she had asked them to do the same thing on cassette tape, and so that's what we've done for Jenny. So first we'd like to hear Jenny's side of the story, and then we will hear Dave's side of the story. <laughs> Yeah, well, they met. <laughs> so just kind of, you know, just your story of how you met and fell in love. Okay. Two and Well, we met on a blind date, actually, ten months ago, and two days. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was the seven, so it was easy to remember. And um, we got set up by his roommate, who set us up because both of us uh, still read the Book of Mormon every day, and he knew that. And so he thought, you know, that's just, they'll get along because of that. So actually, actually, that was really one of the qualities he thought. You know, they're both, um, they both still try to practice some of the habits they learned on their mission. And, and that was one of the reasons why he set us up. And also because I told him that teeth were really important to me. And Dave's dad is a dentist, so, <laughs> so he thought he'd pass the teeth test, which he is. <laughs> um, so he set us up. And um, he was really nice on the very first date. And so... Well, I guess I can go back and tell a little bit before then, because this does actually have some to do with it. Uh, the, where I was working, where my coworker set us up, um, when I, I'd only been working there about, well, a little while. Um, before I got the job, I didn't want it. I didn't want to be in Utah. And um, I was up here talking to Nancy, and she was just like, I was just on my way out of the door to go to the interview, and she just mentioned, she goes, sometimes there's purposes greater than just the job. Because she, after she graduated from college, she got a job that wasn't really related to what she'd studied, and um, and she told me that she hadn't, she didn't know why she took the job, but she felt good about it, and she hadn't been working there for more than two months when a coworker set her up with Steve, her husband. <laughs> and so you know that's kind of just in the back of my mind. Anyway, I felt good about the job, took it, and um, it was about two months after I'd been working there when Brian set me up with Dave. So it's kind of funny. So I remember going out on that date, going. Well, maybe I'm like Nancy, more like Nancy than I think, you know. So I'm kind of, <laughs> kind of just like thinking of maybe it's, it's in the stars. <laughs> um, but then for the next few weeks, we just hung out on and off. And then um, we went and played racquetball. And I tried to let him get a few points, but he didn't do very well. I tease him about it. But um, that's when he, I know he said he liked me because... We just really had fun, and he's like, we didn't know a girl, he could just go play racquetball, and 
she not care that she like looked gross because she was sweating or whatever. Um, and then I invited him to con general conference, and we ended up spending watching the going to the morning session, spending watching the afternoon session, and spending the evening with my family because Nancy's baby Nathan was getting blessed, and he was really good. And at, at the end of the day, I just wasn't sick of being with him. And so I knew it was something different when you can spend like 10, six, ten straight hours with the same person that you hardly know and, and not even be sick of them. And um, so it just kind of gradually progressed like that. And um, we dated over the course of summer. A lot of, a lot of the dating um, continued because my roommates liked him so much and just told me what a great guy he was and that I would be a fool to not date him, even during the times when I didn't know if I liked him as much. They just would say all these nice things about him. <laughs> Help me continue dating him. But finally, <laughs> finally in July, I just prayed to know if I should continue to date him. Because I didn't want to hurt his feelings if, you know, or prolong anything. And I just really got a strong answer that dating him was right. So I, and that really, that's really where I, as I started to develop my own feelings for him. And um, ever since then, we've just been together almost every day. And came, took him to the family reunion when he met 178 of us. <laughs> him just by spending time with him and it's we don't really haven't changed our habits much at all in fact we've really grown to to be, become our better selves around each other and I just love that because all the bad habits I had before I just don't have because he didn't doesn't have those habits and it's the same with him and and I don't know so that's that's kind of how I guess I love him like that way you know and then we came back to the family reunion and I fasted and went to the temple and prayed and she got a really strong answer that I was supposed to marry him. And so we got engaged on my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, what about when you talked about the house he was going to go to the family? Oh, yes. Sorry. <laughs> We're supposed to tell that. I guess a couple of stories here. Um, I can see a few more. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, <laughs> our first kiss. This is kind of funny. Um, I, I really, at this point, I really didn't think I liked him. <laughs> and, um, and, well, let me tell you the story. And, and he was going home to Florida for a week. This was at the end of winter semester. So we've been dating about six weeks, you know. And, um, and I was like, you know, I just, my roommate's like him, but I just don't, and I just can't go on with this. And, and so I, I'm like, he's leaving tonight. I want him to go home and think he has his girlfriend back in Utah. So I'm just going to tell him. And so we were just, he pulled up, and it, while we're in the car, I'm just like, Dave, I, I just don't know how I feel about you. I really can't gauge my feelings. I, I just don't want you to, you know, get your hopes up. I just really don't want, you know. I go, you're welcome to take your risks, see if something works out. But I really, I, I really meant it like, just like you can continue to date me. I'm not promising anything. And I really did say, I'm not going to promise you anything. And he just said, okay, leaned over and kissed me. <laughs> No, this is 
we shipped it on this in such and such day. This is the number. She called the post office. They said, we, those numbers don't mean anything to us. That doesn't do anything. We don't track priority mail. And, so, and then she called Chadwick's back, and they said, and, and then she said, well, then I want you to resend the whole order. I said, sorry, we can't do that. We're in inventory until the 14th. And then, so, and then did you ask to speak to a manager, or did they? Yeah, I said, look, the place to supervisor. Yeah, but she's going to do the same thing. The supervisor yeah, said, oh, no, we can't have the 19th. And uh, Gail finds it. Well, I don't believe either of you because I'm hearing different things. Yeah, different stories. It's a black thing. I'm just trying to get that button. <laughs> Hey, Kitty. What you got, huh? What is it? I see the camera on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that smile. 15th of January, we've got a dinner party here with the Blazers and the Girl Brooks. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, but now it's on camera. <laughs> <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs>